Hey Aries, it's Sunny, and this is your monthly for the month of November 2015. So hopefully you guys have a really good November. Um, from my visions, I saw the scene from my favorite movie of all time, Beauty and the Beast. Yes, don't judge me, that's like my favorite movie. And it was the scene where, um, oh my god, like the rose was in the little glass cover thingy. So I'm picking up that there's something very beautiful and something enchanted that you guys will encounter. But you are being limited from it. Um, there's something that you need to encounter or there's something that you need to understand before you can gain this beautiful object this may be an object with love when I think about roses roses like they are a civilization of love um, beauty um, whatever the case may be this may be for love work projects a new home blah 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 like there's something that you need to learn in order for you to get to something that you really really want and it's kind of funny because before that vision I kept seeing like a mask so just be careful of you try to mask things from yourself and from other people just be honest please be honest and I kind of talked about that for um, your weekly I talked about like some of you like you need to be honest within something but let's get into it the king of cups be careful of your emotional side understand that you need to take your own advice again thinking that you need to be open with something like it may hurt other people and it kind of may hurt you in the process but be open about things I'm picking up that if you're dealing with the water sign water signs are cancer Pisces and Scorpio um you guys need to make amends upon something I'm picking up that it has potential to work with the water sign but you need to make amends and this may be an air sign person who's just like emotional as hell they're very clingy. I'm picking up to this person. They're really clingy. They wear their heart on their sleeve a lot. But they have um, good intentions. They are very naive and just very whiny. Okay, so uh, if that's what you're into, that's cool. If not, then kind of be careful about that because that may get on your nerves. But just be upfront with people. Please be upfront. The Four of Swords. Be patient with yourself and with others. Some of you, you do need a vacation. Some of you, you are like just mentally frustrated. Okay? Understand that your God and your angels, they are listening to your prayers. Okay? So never stop praying and never lose faith because you will be okay. You will honestly be okay. I'm picking up, okay, the King of Cups is looking at the Four of Swords so be patient i guess with this emotional person also be be patient with your emotions okay and if someone like wants you to be honest i guess you are going to have to open up when you're ready but you are going to have to open up eventually the five of wands some differences you may not see eye to eye with people i'm picking up that a lot, a lot of you like you may do some training okay maybe you're training others or others are training you i'm um, really good time for apologies but I'm, I'm more than likely i'm picking up on like differences in arguments um you may feel as if someone is trying to control you but i feel like they they aren't really trying to control you it's just like either they want more from you or um they feel like you're better than the way that you're acting right now so whatever the case may be kind of be careful about that the five of pentacles Help us on the way. Don't lose don't lose faith. And this is tying into the four of swords. Don't give up. A lot of you, you are living out of a dark place. I'm picking up that some of you, you may have issues with going back to your past or going back to dark places due to you being familiar with them. A lot of you, you may be in situations where you are a security blanket for someone else or possibly that someone else is a security blanket for you. So please because about that. A lot of you, you are leaving relationships, especially if they are karmic relationships. Okay? Or maybe a relationship that, that have ended. But I feel like they're going to come back within your life or you're going to come back within that person's life. But it's best to cut those ties now. Either you're dreaming about this person or you can hear this person. Okay? I'm, I'm still picking up that you're connected to this person. 
so please be careful about that a lot of you like you may get sick or you may be around a lot of sick people within the month of november and it's kind of obvious because if you live in the northern hemisphere it's cold it's gonna be winter so yeah um i'm picking up that shop of you be couple of std illnesses okay um some sort of new income coming your way just have faith don't please don't give up on faith please don't the moon card a lot of you be careful of you being in this big illusion some of you you may go back to your past due to comfort okay a lot of you you may go back to weird emotions due to comfort a lot of you you need to be wise you really do need to be wise the truth is coming to the light about something and someone may want the truth from you or a possibility that you want the truth from someone else but you do need to be honest with people and hopefully people will be honest with you i am picking up that a lot of you you're it's like you are doing something to yourself either you don't feel good enough or you aren't giving yourself enough credit i'm picking up i keep hearing self-torment self-torment Okay, so a lot of you, like, you, you're doing things to yourself. Um, some of you, you may be going back to a situation because you're familiar with it. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Some of you, you may be dealing with a Pisces. Okay. Um, I'm picking up that this, this may be the sun and moon and or the rising. A lot of you, you may be dealing with a scarred Pisces okay or you're dealing with someone who's really intuitive but they're really really needy and there's a possibility that others may see you this way okay so just be patient with this person if you are dealing with the you're going to attract a lot of needy wounded people and i feel like your god and your angels are trying to show you like hey this may be a mirror or this may be or you need to be careful of how you treat people all right, because I feel like this may be karma. Like you are going to gain good karma or bad karma depending upon how you treat these people. Okay, because these people may be mirrors. Maybe there's something within yourself that you're needy with, uh, that you're needy about, and you may be relying upon something because of something that you're missing or you're trying to fill a void within something. I'm thinking of it like you're trying to fill a void. And you may be doing this subconsciously. And this may be why some of you, you don't feel good enough. You may be getting very frustrated within yourself. Whatever the case may be, please be careful about that. Please, please be careful about that. There's a lot of water people. So you are attracting a lot of watery people for a reason. Either be careful of your emotional side. Or you need to release your true emotions. Okay? But the chariot, move forward. Okay? Um... Be careful of the platform that you're on right now. I'm picking up that a lot of you, you shouldn't be selfish. And you shouldn't feel as if you're better than people. Okay? Or I feel like people just feel this way about you. Okay? So please be careful about that. But if you're dealing with the cancer, be patient with this cancer. Please be honest with people. The carrier, I bit my tongue. Some of you, like you may bite your tongue. Or you may need to bite your tongue. Be careful what you say, please. But the chariot is underneath the king of cups. So a lot of you, be careful of you drinking. If you do drink a lot or be careful of you being around a lot of uh, drinkers. Because alcohol will make you say the truth, honey. Okay, so kind of be careful about that. Please be careful about that. I'm picking up that a lot of you, you may encounter interracial dating or you may think about dating interracially okay so that's kind of cool um but just see things from another person's point of view some people like they may look to you for advice or maybe you just want advice from other people but you do need to be patient with your emotional side and people who are just really emotionally draining yeah the seven of pentacles a lot of you you're waiting for something you're waiting for some oh you're waiting for some sort of reward and this is kind of tying into me saying about the beauty and the beast thing there's something beautiful and enchanted that you're like wanting but it's covered up and you can't get to it you have to wait for it because the seven of pentacles is underneath the four of swords so you are gonna please wait for it don't rush into anything 
a lot of you um, you are gaining some sort of rewards small rewards um, but it's a reward no matter if it's big or if it's small you are gaining something in return I'm picking up that some of you you may be feeling as if you aren't seeing progress at all okay be patient Drake voice just wait on it okay because you are going to gain something within due time I'm picking up that a lot of you um, December is going to be better for you I'm, I'm picking up that January is going to be really really awesome for um for uh stability okay so do everything that you need to do now for stability um but I'm picking up that a lot of you like you are missing out on some sort of blessing okay so be thankful for the things that you already have don't overlook anything please don't overlook anything so this is signing to me saying like you need to be patient okay and you need to be considerate about something so just keep that in mind but the seven of pentacles is kind of looking at the chariot so a possibility that a lot of you like you may be second guessing your power you may be second guessing your strength okay um be careful about that or you may be second guessing a cancer this may be their sun and moon and or the rising or you're second guessing your intuition okay be careful about that the queen of swords learn from your experiences a lot of you you may have some conflict with people who seem controlling or people who um display a lot of wisdom or it's like i feel like clash of egos you may feel as if this person is picking on you or they feel as if they're better than you and this person may feel as if you're the same way okay so and this is kind of tying into me saying like people like they may just see you as someone who like just feels like you're better than people so be careful about that like i feel like a lot of you like you just need to see eye to eye with these people because the queen of um swords is underneath the five of wands okay so yeah what's that saying i kind of it's like um too many chiefs and not enough native americans something like that I, i'm probably saying it wrong but it's like someone wants to control something but no one is willing to say hey i did this wrong um hey i i need to own up to this or whatever the case may be it's just like oh you did this like everyone wants to point out what everyone else did but no one wants to take actions of their own faults okay so be careful of you being that person or you being surrounded by people who are doing that okay but you may be tied into an air sign person air signs are aquarius gemini's and libras and this may be their sun and moon and or the rising a really good time to apologize i'm picking up that there's something that you need to learn from this air sign person i'm picking up that some of you like you may have been mischievous so war is an air sign person i'm picking up that this air sign person may give you something this may be a gift this may be some sort of knowledge this may be um and understanding but I'm picking up that there's gonna be some sort of peace offering but a lot of you you're just like uh I really don't care about it because you're thinking like is this person really legit or are they trying to play me okay so kind of be so please be careful about that but once again be careful of you clashing with people um who have higher power than you but um, I'm picking up that a lot of you you like you do need to see a therapist or like you just need to talk to people like don't when i say like you need to see a therapist don't think i'm trying to call you crazy or saying that you're um the oppressive soul i'm not trying to say that at all but you just need you need to release okay think think things through use your wisdom please use your wisdom a lot of you like you may not think things through because your head is just like cluttered some of you tying into the five of pentacles you may get sick you may have a head cold the cold is and and the flu is going around so please be careful about that but you need to protect yourself and be be um be protective of the things that you say don't don't say things out of anger be careful of you saying things that you may regret okay the oh this is really tying in oh my god the four of cups someone is is like offering you something but you're like uh I don't want it. I, I'm, I don't want it. I don't feel right about this. And it's funny because the Queen of Swords is looking at the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is underneath the Five of Pentacles. So that's really, really cool. Really cool. So this um, air sign person 
or like your manager or someone who you feel as if they're trying to control you or run you they're trying to offer you something but you don't feel stable with it you don't feel like this is something that's really meant for you to take okay I it depends upon the situation just think about it and just see what happens but I am picking up that you do need to think about it you honestly need to think about it um the universe or whoever may be giving you something they're giving you it for a reason i'm picking up they're trying to help you out but i do see where you guys are feeling really indecisive about it you are just like a i don't trust this person so i see where you're coming from i honestly do trust your intuition because your intuition is um beeping for a reason okay Oh yeah, the eight of wands. Communication, some sort of communication. The truth will come to the light through communication. This may be through email, phone call, text. Be careful though, because I am picking up on mixed messages. Someone may mix up something that you said. It may be a lot of he said, she said. Someone may twist up your words. Be careful of the energy because I'm picking up that reversed. Okay. I'm also picking up that some of you, like, you may do some traveling, okay? A lot of you, like, you may just want to travel at night because it's going to feel very, very soothing to ride out at night. Oh, yeah, you want to do some traveling. You really, really are. And I'm picking up that you just need to find peace. But the... I'm picking up the Eight of Wands reverse, okay? So the Eight of Wands is kind of flying towards the Four of Cups. Some of you, like you, someone is telling you half the truth. Or you're telling someone else half the truth. So be careful of that energy. But the Four of Wands is underneath the Moon card. So like I said, communication may be a bit weird. I feel like if someone is half-assing you or if you're has or if you're on um, BSing someone else, it's gonna come to the light eventually. So you might as well be honest. But the overall energy for the month of November. Ooh, this is you guys' card. Creating structure and order. Find out who you really are, Aries. Find out what you want to become. A really big time for you. Okay, I feel like the beauty or this rose is you. Finding out your growth, finding out your, your true beauty, finding out your strength. So you are going to understand that within November. For my late bloomers, you may find this out within mid-December. Okay, especially like if you just let your ego speak for you. Okay, but a really good time for you to find out your own strength. Just be careful of you trying to control things. And you becoming a dictator because you trying to control shit, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work in your favor. Okay, some of you, you do need to be stronger, you need to be dominant, and you do need to take up for yourself. Okay, but just don't go overboard. Please don't go overboard. A really big time for you guys. Because it's funny how I picked up on you guys' card for your message, for the overall energy. Okay, so a lot of energy around you guys. And I feel like it's for the better. You just need to see it from that point of view. But your mindset for the month of November... You want the truth. You want your wishes. You want. You want. Stop saying, I want. Stop. Worry about your needs. I feel like a lot of you, like, you need to worry about your basics. Okay? Stop focusing on the things that you want. I am picking up. A lot of you, like, you just want to heal. You want to heal yourself. Some of you, like, you are in denial about something. A lot of you, like, you may have a water sign person on your brain. And it's funny because I picked up on, like, a lot of water sign elements within this reading. Okay? So, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This would be their sun and moon. And or the rising. Or this really intuitive person. A lot of you, like, you may just decide to go to psychics this month. Okay? So, that's really cool. That is really, really cool. Or you may be tied into um, an air sign person who's really emotional as hell, like I talked about earlier. Um... But just be honest. I'm picking up that you do need to heal yourself. There needs to be some sort of understanding. Um, a lot of you, really good time for you to be true. And just be honest. Like, that's really all you can do. Even if it hurts. Even if it hurts. Like, truth hurts. Okay? So try and have an awesome November, my Aries. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.